Hello, my name is Walter Unglob, and this is how to verify and simplify trig expressions. So, a trigonometric expression, such as sine of theta, can be written in terms of exponentials using Euler's formula as e to the i theta minus e to the minus i theta all over 2 times i, where i in this expression is the imaginary unit which is equal to the square root of negative 1, and cosine of theta can be written in a similar fashion as e to the i theta plus e to the minus i theta all over 2. It's important to also understand the relation between these two very commonly used trig expressions and tangent of theta. Tangent of theta is simply the ratio of sine of theta divided cosine of theta. So if you understand these expressions, then you can verify more complicated looking expressions. And for the next part of this, I'm going to utilize a simple example to demonstrate how one can simplify expressions, understanding the relationship between tangent, sine, and cosine. So let's say I have a function of theta which is equal to cosine of theta cubed, I'm not going to write theta here for the sake of simplicity, times tangent of theta plus cosine of theta. And I divide by sine squared of theta times cotangent squared theta. Well, cotangent is simply 1 over tangent, so I can rewrite this in terms of just sines and cosines as cosine cubed times sine divided cosine plus cosine in the numerator. And in the denominator, I'll have sine squared times cosine squared divided sine squared. So immediately, I can see that I can cancel out these sine squared terms. And in the numerator, I can cancel out this cosine with one of these cosines. So I have a 2 in the exponent for this cosine. So this is equal to cosine squared times sine plus cosine all over cosine squared. And these are all functions of theta. So the next step is I can just simplify this by uh, putting it in terms of 2 fractions. So I have for my first fraction cosine squared sine divided cosine squared. The cosine squared terms cancel out. And then for the second term I have cosine from the numerator divided by the common denominator cosine squared. And this cosine cancels out with one of the cosines at the bottom. So this is equal to sine plus 1 over cosine. And 1 over cosine is equal to secant. So I can write this in a slightly simpler form as sine of theta plus secant of theta. So understanding the relationships between sine, cosine, tangent can allow one to simplify complicated looking expressions into simpler trig expressions. My name is Walter Unglob, and this is How to Verify and Simplify Trig Expressions. Mm -hmm.